Learn how to use IPVO's software iStage and utilize its AI-powered display modes to create an immersive online conferencing experience. Before launching iStage, connect your IPVO camera to the computer. Next, select a camera for one or both of the video sources. Apart from IPVO cameras, you can use other apps and devices as video sources. In the camera management bar, you can choose how you wish to display the video feed from source one and source two. The default mode is ideal when displaying video from a single source. If two video sources are used simultaneously, you can have iStage switch between them automatically. Select Auto Switch and iStage will display video from the camera that currently has a person in the frame. This allows you to create two separate presentation spaces you can seamlessly move between. With face tracking, you can select a face to track and iStage's AI will automatically switch to the video source where this face was detected. You can also display video from both sources at once, either in split screen mode or using picture in picture. Each can be freely customized in the preferences section of iStage settings. You can resize the picture in picture window, change its position, and move the dividing line of the split screen mode. When you are done, click apply to keep the changes. To each video source, you can apply an AI frame from the drop down list. The portrait frame enhances the image in three automatically identified scenarios. If a single person faces the camera, the AI follows the movement of the presenter, maintaining the focus of the shot on the person. If the presenter turns sideways, the image will pan in the same direction, including the presented content in the frame. With multiple people in front of the camera, the image will be framed around all of the meeting participants so that everyone is included and clearly visible. The conferencing frame uses a different approach to displaying meeting participants. It splits the image into individual portrait close-ups. Another option for displaying meeting participants is the panoramic conferencing frame, which combines the portrait close-ups with a panoramic image of the meeting room. When sharing or scanning documents, you can utilize the document frame, which automatically crops the area outside the document's borders. The video feed enhanced by iStage can be displayed in any conferencing app, such as Google Meet, Skype, Microsoft Teams, or WebEx. You can do it by simply selecting iStage as the camera in the app. For example, this is how to do it in Zoom. Once you are in a meeting, click on the caret symbol next to the video camera icon. Then select IPVO iStage camera in the drop-down menu. Now everyone in your meeting can see the image from iStage. To adjust the image and change your camera settings, click on the camera settings icon right above the name of the selected camera. In the adjustments section, you can control zoom, rotate or mirror the image, correct the keystone, and apply a virtual background. In the IPVO camera section, you can adjust the image properties of your IPVO camera, such as exposure, saturation, or contrast. Here, you can also switch between autofocus continuous and static if your camera allows it. When autofocus static is selected, the camera will not refocus automatically. To refocus anytime, click on the focus icon on the right. To download IPVO iStage, learn more about its features, and check for the latest updates, visit ipvo.com.